Well, good morning, everyone, and uh, welcome to Bristol Community College. We have an exciting announcement today, uh, and it's my pleasure to start this uh, session off. Uh, with that announcement, uh, we have uh, created a brand new entity at the college, uh, and we have called it the Ketch Institute. And the Ketch is an acronym for Culinary Arts, Tourism, Casino Operations, and Hospitality. Uh, so the Ketch Institute is something that uh, I have been uh, very anxious to uh, bring together the, those various parts under one umbrella, and that's the Institute itself. Um, you have heard many conversations, uh, uh, good and bad, I suppose, about casino operations, but uh, if we focus on culinary arts and tourism and hospitality, I think that uh, uh, you, know, you see how important it is for our southeastern Massachusetts region, and we're uh, complementing other efforts across the region to make the region a destination uh, for travelers and tourism. Uh, we have so many wonderful things to boast about in southeastern Mass, uh, and uh, the Bristol Community College is one of those things to boast about, but uh, at Bristol Community College we wanted to set up this umbrella to coordinate uh, these activities, and uh, that's the pur main purpose of the Ketch Institute. Uh, economic development, workforce development, uh, we have brought all of the various activities at Bristol Community College together under this umbrella in those fields. Uh, I think that you would find uh, the uh, workforce, uh, the new, cr also we created a new uh, workforce investment and Workforce uh, Development and Education Institute. It's actually called the Workforce Education Institute, WEI. And that will go hand in glove with this Ketch Institute. Uh, as we try to serve uh, the economic needs and the workforce development needs of our region, uh, very, uh, very anxious to continue something we've always done uh, at Bristol Community College and to, uh, serve the region uh, with uh, educational needs as well as uh, training and credentials both in the academic areas and the non-credit areas as well. Uh, our Ketch Institute is uh, uh, going to be, the director of the Ketch Institute is uh, Chef John Caresimo and uh, it falls uh, within the number of uh, our uh, uh, entities here at Bristol Community College, our academic arena as well as our uh, workforce Development Institute arena. Uh, I think that uh, you would like to, you would see this as a model for other workforce entities. Uh, we're bringing together those uh, catch, uh, catch uh, participants, culinary arts, tourism, hospitality, and the casino operations. That, that doesn't necessarily mean that there needs to be a casino or we're not advocating for a casino one way or the other in southeastern Mass. but. Uh, in terms of other casino operations in the region, uh, we want to prepare our students uh, to enter those uh, activities and to find employment if they so desire. It's our, that's one of our responsibilities at, uh, at Catch. And now to uh, explain a little bit more about Catch and some of the activities, I it's my honor to introduce to you our Acting Vice President for uh, Academic Affairs, Greg Satharis. Greg Satharis. Thank you very much, President Sprague. Uh, it's a, it's a, a real pleasure for me to be here today to talk to you about the Catch Institute. Uh, President Sprague mentioned that this is a partnership between academic affairs and our workforce development uh, activities here at the college, and it really is. I get the pleasure to speak to you on the academic side. Certainly there are going to be many jobs out there you know, for whether it's in casino management or hospitality and tourism and culinary arts. We already have these programs. But what we really are looking to do here is to create not only people who are going to go out and get a job, but leaders in the field. The academic component in, in that associate's degree that our students will, uh, will be earning, we have three different programs. Each one of them is an associate's degree program. So these are academic credentials, academic programs, and these students have, will have not only the basics of casino management, 
culinary arts and hospitality and tourism, but they'll have a business focus and they'll be able to be leaders in the field when they get out there working in the field. So that's really the main focus of that. The Catch Institute is housed in our Division for Business Administration. Uh, Dean Bill Berardi is the leader of that, and so he will be working with Chef Caresimo and is working with Chef Caresimo and the faculty in the program to really bring this forward. And now to talk about the economic and workforce development aspects of it, I get the pleasure of introducing Associate Vice President for Workforce Development, Terry Romanovich. Thanks, Greg. Um, I just want to start out by really congratulating everybody. This is like um, a really wonderful thing that's going on within the institution, and I know the chef has worked very hard on it, as had the uh, members of our academic community. This is really a big deal for us to actually have all of these pieces linked together under one title, and it's pretty catchy. <laughs> to, uh, to use a good phrase. And I think that's really critical because that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to catch on to the new industry that we feel is emerging. From the workforce development side of the house, we find that we keep hearing over and over again there's a demand and a more of a strong interest in tourism, in culinary arts, in casino, hoping that that will happen in our area. And we're very excited from the workforce end because this is an opportunity for us to respond to an emerging industry, a high demand industry, and to really be proactive in saying how do we do that in a very respectful way where we're taking individuals from wherever they want to enter a career, building them through, and Greg said it quite eloquently, we're trying to get them in from the career side and the non-credit side, but bridge it immediately into the degree programs that have been established on the workforce side of, a, of the house. So from us on the workforce, and it really makes sense that we're really starting to build these bridges. Greg's been a wonderful colleague in terms of making these crosswalks. And then we're really trying to focus on who are the people out there that need this? Who are the people that might be afraid to come in our door and go immediately into a degree program but would love to take a non-credit training program? We get them excited and say, and do you know you could really get your degree in one of these areas? So for us, it's an educational opportunity for some of the people in the community that we're able to build these career bridges for. And it's really a nice internal collaboration with the colleagues that are sitting around the table today that really want to see this happen. So I think it's pretty catchy. And I'm thrilled that it's falling under um, our Workforce Education Institute on the workforce side because we are trying to, just the words alone, workforce and education, that's what we're trying to do is build that bridge. And the language alone is letting us hap that happen. And we're trying to create a way where employers can call us directly. We've set up a phone number where you just call Bristol Community College, extension info, and then we can give you info. So if you're interested in a career program that uh, Chef Carissimo already has in place, we can link you to the chef. So we want to be responsive to employers. We want this to be a rapid response, high demand uh, success story. So catch on and uh, come and see us. And it's my great pleasure to introduce my colleague. We've been a battling colleague for a very long time, building lots of bridges for many, many years. And he is truly the brainchild behind all of this. And I really do commend him for his efforts. Chef Chris Mott. Thank you, Terry. I'm going to prove the hypothesis that he who speaks last at a press conference better have something new to say, otherwise you're in trouble. So I'd like to thank you for coming to this very important press conference this morning. Uh, I'd like to talk to you for a second about the genesis of the Catch Institute. We have a number of programs that have been wrapped up into the Institute, the Culinary Arts Program, our Tourism and Hospitality Program, and our Casino Program. The Culinary Arts Program, as I believe everyone is well aware of, has been around since 1985. It started off as a certificate program and has morphed into a two-year degree program and has become what I'm convinced of is a very successful program here at the college and a very successful program here uh, in southeastern Massachusetts. So I'm really happy to have brought that program as far as it has come and certainly it has come that way with the support and, uh, and encouraging of the encouragement of the institution. So that's the first thing. The 
Tourism and hospitality program and the casino programs have been around for a while. Tourism and hospitality uh, have been at the college for around 10 years, and casino has been at the college for about five or six years. And unfortunately, they have somewhat been left to languish on the vine. The hope and expectation is that by creating this umbrella of the Catch Institute and putting the culinary arts program together with tourism and hospitality and the casino program, utilizing the model that has been successful with the culinary arts program will make those two programs as successful and an important part of this triad. The other thing, obviously, that, that is necessary is when we look to educate people, we need to educate them for jobs. So in the past, this area has been sort of a little backward with regard to creating tourism jobs, hospitality jobs, and the casino jobs. If you wanted a casino job, you either had to travel to Atlantic City or Las Vegas or move to Connecticut. Now, with the impetus that we're getting with the destination casinos being created in Massachusetts, the prospect exists for thousands of jobs. So that gives us the opportunity as the educator in the area to go out and say to prospective students, come to us, there are jobs at the end of, of this uh, rainbow for you to, to get into. There are three things that I would like to stress this morning. The Catch Institute is unique in the sense that we will be stressing an educated workforce in Massachusetts. Many of the others in Massachusetts who are getting into this business are aiming at non-credit training. But as we have met with employees and potential people who are going to be hiring our students, they have indicated that their preference is for an educated person with the skills necessary to do the work that they need, as opposed to a trained person. One of the things that we have to have in this complete hospitality industry is we need people who are people persons. We need people who are extroverts, extroverts, people who will be willing to go out and work and work with the public and make the public happy. I mean, let's face it, the goal of being in hospitality is to get people to do what? To spend their money. Whether they're spending it at a casino, whether they're spending it in a restaurant, whether they're spending it in a hotel, or visiting the various tourist attractions that we have in the area, people are spending money. And this is important because obviously nobody's working for nothing. So we need to be able to support the people who support this industry. So that's very important. Certainly, the non-credit and recreational courses will play an important role. But the focus will be on turning out educated individuals for the workplace. The Institute will be all about job development and preparing educated persons for the workforce. As you have heard from our Associate Vice President, Terry Romanovich, we will work together with the Workforce Educational Institute to build professional development and training as well. But we see the Catch Institute as another way to build the educated workforce that is necessary for this reason. One of the things that we have talked about is the recreational non-credit side. There are certainly plans afoot to create a large recreational area within the Catch Institute that will cater to those people who want to take courses within the Institute, within the offerings of the Institute, strictly as a recreational type thing. And we do this with a, a number of courses. People want to improve whatever skills they have. We're going to give them that opportunity. Towards this end, in order to support both the non-credit and the credit recreational courses, the college is in the process of creating a gaming lab, which I believe will, become, will make BCC the only community college in the Commonwealth with such a facility. We already have the equipment and we are presently looking for the best site on campus to locate this place. We have met with people from Twin Rivers and representatives from Penn National Gaming, the entity seeking the slots parlor license to seek information and guidance in this endeavor. And their input has been very valuable to us. The second point I would like to make is the institutional vision for the Institute. My goal is to, for the Institute to attempt to replicate the cohort model that I've used so successfully within the culinary arts program to grow enrollment in tourism, casino, and hospitality. In order to achieve this goal, our new full-time hospitality assistant professor, E. John Bjornsson, is busy redesigning the courses and the programs within 
the hospitality, tourism, and casino in order to make them more user friendly. What we're looking to do is to create a single hospitality degree with a core group of courses with then different majors within that degree. I know I look at the catalog and I get confused, so I can only imagine how confusing it is to the students, the people who are looking to come here to BCC. So with this endeavor, what we're looking to do is we're looking to simplify the process and we're looking also to create some cross-training. By this I mean some of the culinary students will be taking hospitality and business courses, some of the hospitality people will be taking culinary courses. What this will do is this will create a better educated individual so that when the person goes out looking for a job in the hospitality industry, they're not necessarily nailed down to one particular occupation. What I always try to tell my students is the person who has the greatest amount of education is usually the last person to go. So the more education the students can get, the more different skills they can obtain, the more secure they will be within their job. So, so it'll, it's a win-win situation for everybody. Additionally, what the plan is, is to block schedule the courses just as in the culinary arts, to allow the students in the hospitality program to be able to take a full-time course load while they are still maintaining a reasonable work schedule. And I stress reasonable. And I don't consider 40 hours a week reasonable. And a number of our students do work, and it, it's really uh, you know, more a sign of the times that they have to put those types of hours in. But we're going to attempt to make it as, as convenient as possible for the students to come to school full time and continue their work in order to be able to complete their degree and their education in the least amount of time possible. I cannot help believe, but with the emphasis in the Commonwealth on creating educate destination casinos and a slot parlor, the success of the neighboring venues in nearby Rhode Island, and the local emphasis on tourism, and the governor's renewed support for a South Coast Rail system, that the programs under the umbrella of the Catch Institute will thrive, and BCC will, provi will be providing educated persons for the workforce for many years to come. Thank you, and at this time, we would be happy to answer your questions.